According to the CDC, one in three children in America is either obese or overweight, at risk of developing type 2 diabetes sometime in their life, a disease that, until now, affected mostly middle-aged adults. And what's even more alarming, a study in the New England Journal of Medicine concluded this could be the first generation to have a shorter lifespan than their parents. I love you. Doris Lakari is 15 years old, a 10th grader at Arlington Catholic High School outside Boston. To the end. She weighs about 250 pounds and has been overweight for most of her young life. Just a few months before we met her, she learned she has a good chance of developing diabetes. Take me back to that day. Teenage girl finds out she's pre-diabetic. What goes through your mind? It was extremely scary. I've never, I've never had to experience anything like that before. My mom saw me crying because I was so scared and I was almost lost. Doris called it her do or die moment, a phrase that may be more apt than she realizes. An overweight or obese child who develops type 2 diabetes by age 15 may be looking at uh, renal failure, a heart attack, or severe neurological damage before the 30th birthday. Dr. David Ludwig leads a weight loss program at Boston Children's Hospital, where Doris and her family turned for help. Because of the obesity epidemic, we may be looking at heart attack as becoming a pediatric disease. In a society obsessed with being thin, it's never been easier to be fat. Obesity is a major public health crisis in this country. CNBC goes inside as business battles the bulge, where the waistline meets the bottom line. It's about $3 million a year that we're saving. We saved $21 million in about the last seven or eight years. One Nation Overweight. Premieres May 18th, 10 Eastern and Pacific, only on CNBC.